I don't think one can stay away from politics. I think whatever you do, whatever position you take, it, it's always political in some ways. You always make a political point, even if you say, I don't care. That is a political statement, not to care. So I don't think that we can make, actually make a distinction between political art and not, not political art. Of course, you can be more conscious about it. And it's true, the subjects I work with or, and the places I work in are often highly politicized places. So I can't get away from that. And my work is touched by it and I'm also engaging with it. And that is also part of what I see as my responsibility as an artist in this world. They say as natives, we have to make our own medicines by simple processes that do not require scientific skills and knowledge, which are reserved for them, as we are excluded from their medical schools and pharmaceutical apprenticeship. They want to lock us in the past and deny us access to the present, but they do not know that we are the future. I spend a lot of time in places, sometimes many months. I learn the language of some of the places I work in. I connect with people, I create relationships, because a lot of the work that I make is dependent on relationships and collaborations. And then I sort of try to go deep into a subject and explore things that are hidden, maybe blind spots of representations, which could be things that are in front of us, but we don't see them because we're not looking. In all these cases, I'm kind of trying to really look quite hard and look also for a long time and spend a long time with something. Um, our attention span is getting shorter. So I think maybe art is one of the ways where we can still have a longer attention span. I mean, all these relationships go beyond art and they continue, of course, after the, after the project is finished, so to speak. The relationship lives on. Uh, just last year, I developed a project in the Congo with a cooperative of 50 women. And uh, we sort of made a film and we made a garden and a number of things. And I'm still in touch with them. I'm working on a website for them at the moment. So the relationship is very much um, ongoing. Working in a way that is not aiming at a one singular monolithic artwork has been really important. So the fragmentary, I guess, is it's almost a political tool within the work. It's about the politics of representation. It's about not presenting one thing. And the fact that there are various elements or fragments or works that are in dialogue with each other creates a space. It creates an in-between space. And this is precisely the space that the viewer navigates in my exhibitions, where they move between works and the works are not completely closed and self-contained. They speak to one another. So this is an important strategy for me um, because I do care about the viewer a lot. I care about that act of encountering a work, engaging with it, and becoming an accomplice of the work, thinking it further, completing it in one's mind.